Hello world and welcome back to another video on IPFS. In this video, I will be showing you how to install IPFS onto your computer with an application called Orion. Orion is a client program that will help you manage your IPFS files and publish your files to your namespace. So let's get right ahead and uh, let's go download Orion. You could go to the Cydrus Orion website or you could just go to their GitHub project pages. And there you can look at their code, you can learn more about the project, you could contribute. And um, there's a lot of helpful information, but we're going to the latest release. And then I'm going to be installing it on Windows, so I'll use Orion EXE. There's my 0 0.8.8. I've already downloaded it, so I'm not going to do it again. After that, I'll just open up the Downloads folder and browse to the correct file. So that is the old Orion setup. Let's find the latest file and install. Now, this is a brand new app, so it has not been signed for Windows, but don't worry. It is safe. You can just go check the code and read anything up about it if you want to. The installation depends on your computer. Um, it usually does not take very long. This bat, those balls, these pennants got this country through some tough times. We still do. Gives us something to root for. And if you work hard, swing for the fences, And another thing that's going to happen is my antivirus is going to check the file first and make some trouble while I'm installing it. But that'll all go away. There we have it. It's open. It's enable tracking. I do that so that I can help the developer understand the software is still in development stages and the more we can help them with our feedback and sending them statistics, the better the application can become. And there we have a new installation of Cyrus Orion. Those are some IPFS objects. And what I'll just do is open it in a browser. And from there, you can click some of the links and see what's inside. There are some helpful commands. Some pages showing you you've connected to IPFS. And that's it. Now you are connected to the IPFS network. In the next video, I will show you how to add a web page and also a movie folder and sh show people how to browse towards your folder. Uh, the last thing that you can do here that's very helpful is to copy your peer ID and put it on a sticky note. I have prepared a few sticky notes for myself with commands that are very useful and it makes life a lot easier in the long run. As always, Subscribe, hit the like button if you enjoyed, and watch out for more videos on IPFS.